Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Growing Up Blue where I post weekly vlogs about our two Australian cattle dog puppies, Racket and Ziggy, and take you along on our training journey and puppy adventures. So if you can't already tell, today is a bit of a different vlog because one, I am in a car, and two, we are finally going to have a puppy in our video. Today we are going to pick up Racket and bring him home with us. So like I said, today we are on our way to go pick up Rocket from the breeders and bring him home with us. Right now he's in Ionia, Michigan, which is about a three hour drive from us from home. And we actually just stopped at a rest stop, so I figured that I might as well get out my camera and shoot some. We are about halfway to go get Rocket and I will keep you guys updated as we go. So we did pack a laundry basket for him and this is what he's going to ride in in the car. In the laundry basket I layered some puppy pads and then on top I put some towels as well as his blanket that we're going to ask the breeder at SB to rub on the mom and the other puppies so that he feels comfortable at home and doesn't get an upset stomach. So we've been driving for about three hours now and we're finally in Ionia, Michigan. Right now we're pulling into Rocket's breeder's home and this barn is actually where Rocket has been living with his mom and litter mates. And here's Rocket! When he came out of the barn, he was so big compared to when we last saw him at only four weeks old. We tried to do a quick potty break and then loaded our puppy in the car. So Rocket did great with the entire car ride and his first day at home. We actually only had to stop two times for him to go potty. And other than that, he just pretty much slept the whole time in his little laundry basket with his towels. Did a little bit of smelling around, but once he got comfortable, he laid there and he was a tough little guy and the car ride went super smooth. And when we got home, I don't think that he was too sure about how he felt about the inside of our house. His whelping pen was actually in a barn, so I don't think that he's ever been inside of a home before. And it took him some getting used to the slippery kitchen floor. And he did do a little slipping around, but we are getting him used to the feeling. And we have a few carpets out there so we can like lay and then kind of play like a floor is lava game, you know, back and forth. But he's getting comfortable with it. No big deal, I'm sure he'll get over it. So he's done pretty good with exploring our backyard, but I definitely think that he's a shade puppy. He has not been enjoying the sun too much. He's always looking for a cool or dark place to lay down in. And I think that's also why he's a little bit hesitant of exploring all the areas of the backyard because of course he wants to stick to the shady areas, but we'll also get over that. Rocket has been amazing so far and we are so excited to see how he grows and develops and we're so glad that he's finally home with us and pretty soon he'll be having a little brother puppy only 19 days until we go and pick up Ziggy from Indiana. That's all for today. If you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on that notification bell to stay up to date on all things growing up blue and never miss a vlog about our Australian cattle dog puppies. And make sure to leave me a comment below. I go through and read all of them and respond to you guys so let me know what was it like the very first time you brought your puppy home. Also if you haven't already watched it I just posted a video on the different kinds of food and treats that we'll be feeding our blue healer puppies so I'll post a link to it right here thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you again next time bye